Hello friends, in this video we will solve the RSS exam question which will ask in a system. So without wasting your time, let's start this question. The second question will be asked in the system to is the create a repository. And this repository you must to create because if you do not solve this question then your configuration of the network is not solved. For example, if you install the any packages related to the Apache or network. If you not solve this question, then packages are not it. So, let's solve this question. The question said that create a repository base OS and the base OS URL, then the application stream, app stream, then the application stream URL, and we need to create a repository. So, how to create repository? Let's see on the screen. First of all, we know that the repo file configuration file where is the present? It present in the slash it is the slash yum dot repos. All the repos configuration files are present in this file. Okay. So, with the help of the vim command, we can directly open with this, or we can directly first of all we can go to the this repository v cd slash etc slash yum dot yum dot repos dot d here all the repos files are created in that directory just long listing you can see ls hyphen l here are the two repositories are already created this is a system repository and this repo file i created for the installing the packages so in the question paper there are the few basic things are given for example he give base url of the base os and the base url of the app stream so we must create a one uh, repository file with the help of the vim or we can directly open with the help of the vim i have open this file because I have already created in a local repo in my system that's why I am just edit this file for opening this file I am using vim command vim local dot repo here you can see that in the RSS exam base URL is given so how you can solve this question first of all you need to define the name in the square bracket you can give any name like but Standard name is the base OS for the base OS and the app stream for the app stream. So you need to first of all set the name that further we also set the name actual name of our repository. The actual name of the, our repository is depends on you. Okay, because whatever you can give the name of your repository, it can be success. Okay, because there is no matter of the name so here you can give any name like i am giving here rail 9 you can give rscsa 9.0 anything then the third part is the base url here you can see that base url is a very important because if you do mistake in the base url your repository is not enabled or it is not useful for your exam so this you can just type the base url is equal to and the base URL link is given in a URL question paper. For example, in the question paper, base URL is given http colons double slash content.example.com. Here, I am given this URL because in my system, the repo file is present at this location. But RSCSA exam is an online server. That means they give the URL. So here you can type this URL. For example, base URL equal to http colon double slash content dot example dot com. And you must remember here you can write a base URL of the base OS. Okay. Then enable equal to one because we need to enable this repo file. That's why here I am writing enable equal to one. Then the GPG check equal to zero. Okay. Then similarly we write this data or this text for the app stream. 
here you mention in the square bracket app stream the name whichever you want like I'm here giving the rail 9 then this is the main factor is the base URL here you can type the base URL which is given in your question paper for example base URL equal to http colon double slash content dot example dot com dash 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 then here enable equal to one this is also main parameter so you can just type the enable equal to one then the gpg check equal to zero and this is the solution main solution of our question paper after writing this text in this configuration file you must to save this file with the help of the except colon wq and excel entry for the forcefully quite after creating this repo file and here you can uh, <coughs> remember you can give any name of your local uh, repo file for example I am giving the local dot repo you can also give the network dot repo red hat dot repo and if the question paper said that uh, we need to create the linux dot repo you must to create the linux dot repo okay and if it is not present in the question paper you give any name like I am giving here local dot repo then you must to clean all your repository which is present in the previous that's why I am here using yum clean all command okay then you need to check our repo file is enabled or not that's why here you can use yum repo list all here you can see that our app stream repo is enabled the base os status is also enabled that means our repo file is successfully enabled for the checking purpose you also install the any packages which is related to our exam for example here i'm install yum install samba you can see all the related package of the samba is going to the install that means our repo file is successfully created and it works successfully this is a check part of your question okay so friend this question is over here and if you like this video then please subscribe my channel and wait for the next video thank you